And now your TV5 first alert forecast, certified most accurate by weather rate. Good Wednesday afternoon. I'm first alert meteorologist Matthew Mondro with your Wednesday afternoon update for today. Still pretty windy. We have our first alert weather day for that wind until 4 p.m. Our wind gusts will max out around 45 to 50 miles per hour. So there is that potential for some tree damage today or isolated power outages. But we're at the peak of it in the middle of today. By the time we head towards around 4 to 5 p.m. when that weather day expires, that's where we see those wind gusts starting to slow back down, substantially slowing down once we head into tonight. But we're now issuing a new first alert weather day for Thursday for the potential for snow and some wintry mix to move in. Now this will be mostly snow, but regardless, we are expecting some slippery roadways during the afternoon commute time or if you're headed back home from school or taking the kids uh, to or from those after school activities on Thursday. So going to be quite snowy with that system moving through. But for the rest of today until then, we're still dry, just mostly cloudy into tonight and even on your Thursday morning, the snowfall starts up from the west at around noon, fills in towards 3 p.m. Then that will just stay across the area throughout the remainder of the afternoon and the evening hours, even once we head towards around 9 to 10 p.m. But by midnight, that's where we do start to see that snow tapering off across our area. But snowfall totals adding up to around two to five inches. If you're in the Tri Cities, the thumb, our northern counties and the central Michigan region around one to two inches, though, in our southern Rove counties. Anyone that sees that wintry mix early on in the afternoon, you'll fall in that lower category of one to two inches. Seven day forecast says falling temperatures through the daytime on Thursday as well. Friday, a cooler day at only 25 degrees, but drier and then into the the weekend we are seeing dry weather and warming back up to the 30s and the 40s. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air.